This is Chris Rickery of Drickheads News. We're down at the Yarmouth Harbor, and while there's been a fire on a boat, here's the cover story. Hey, can we get the story here? Can we get the story here? Can't tell you anything we don't know, sir. Did a boat go down or something? No. No, all I know is we got a report of a possible fire. Possible fire? In the water? No. There's a boat right over there. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Wah! 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 <laughs> Robert, can we get your side of the story? Was it? The engine room was burning, no one heard, don't know why it started. Right now they're trying to put it out. Maybe they were smoking dope. Were they, were they smoking dope? Were you smoking dope? I wish. You know what's up, sir? No, I don't. Have a moment of your time. Uh, that firefighter over there that just bent down, he said you were the one that started the fire. That's right, yeah. That's true? Yeah. Yeah, I started it. Yeah. Right on. That's cool. This is Chris Vickery of Trickhead News. <laughs> I heard an engine room caught on fire. Is that true? Is the engine room on fire? Firefighters are hard workers. It's like a large penis. Sir, is that like a large penis? CBC, the Canadian Bubblegum Company. <laughs> Is this what they pay you firefighters for? Actually, no. We're doing this because we love to do it. <laughs> Is that a fun job? Do you get paid minimum wage for rolling up a hose? Firefighters have to get paid for something. This is Chris Erkia, Jerkhead News, reporting.